So our next Learning Two presenter is Warren Abel, and he's going to come up. Thanks. One of the things I've learned from my students is that children inherently want to help other people. You know, whenever there is a, an earthquake or a flood, uh, the kids just they want to do something. They want to help. But unfortunately, one of the, the ways that they usually try to help is by having a bake sale. <laughs> and nothing against bake sales, but, but maybe there's a way that's more meaningful, a way that they can help people for real. I want you to meet Soar. She is a Cambodian farmer. Uh, she makes about a dollar a day. And she knows if she could get a biogas digester, it's a, a machine that would help her reduce her expense and the, reduce the environmental impact of the fossil fuels that she uses. Um, so she went to kiva.org to apply for a loan, and I helped, find, I helped fund the loan that, that got her this biogas digester. She's paying the loan back, and uh, over time, she's already paid me back 65% of the loan, and when she pays it all back, uh, I'll loan that money again to somebody else. And if you, ha if you haven't used Kiva, um, I have a bunch of $25 gift certificates that I will, I will give you, uh, real money, and you can use it here at this conference and then tweet out like, who you help out. Uh, it's great to use with your students. You can fit, there's almost 5,000 applications right now for, um, for loans in all over the world. And so whatever matches your curricular goals, whatever your school's values are, you can find a loan that will fit. Um, you can filter this by gender. If you want to close the, the gender pay gap, you can fund a female-owned business. If you want to improve world peace, fund a project that's happening in a conflict zone. If, uh, if you want to uh, stop global warming, there are projects of clean, green energy. And your students can pick the project that they want to fund, uh, and then they watch that project grow. They have a connection. It, it's really cool. Um, but how do we... How do we get the students the kind of money, the, the funds that they can use to help these people? How do we help these people without the sugar in the cupcakes? As teachers, we know that students do their best work when they have an authentic audience. What if we could publish students' work to the same real platforms that authors and performers and, and the real world uses to sell their stuff? What, um, what if we could publish in a way that earns money that could go to fund these kinds of projects? And I think we can. It's not super easy. It's not as easy as just blogging, but it's not that hard, and the internet has made it much easier. If your students write, and all students write, they can publish their work, uh, whether it's a collection of poetry or short stories. Uh, you can compile and edit a, a book of their work. Or if they're writing for National Novel Writers Month, you can publish that to the Kindle Direct Publishing platform. Uh, it's easy to get started with it. And then the kids and their relatives, their mom and their grandma, can buy their work and read it on their iPad or on their Kindle, which is really cool. Um, It's really cool. <laughs> music, the music teachers that I know are already recording their kids' work. The, there's, they've got stacks of CDs and DVDs and, and uh, external hard drives with MP3 files of, of the kids' choir performances and the, the orchestra. You could publish that to the Google Play Store. It only costs $25 to get an account set up. Uh, it's, it's easy to get going. And then the kids can stream or download or purchase the music uh, on the same platform on their, on their phones, the same thing that they use to listen to music to already. It can be a real platform for publishing student work. And if you're lucky, your school has a 3D printer, so kids can make 3D designs, and then they can print it out in plastic uh, and have a, a tangible product. Um, but if you upload that file to Shapeways, they'll print it for you and mail it, and not only can the students order it, but anyone on the internet can order it, and then you get a cut of the proceeds. A and they have all kinds of different materials, so it's not just one color, it's a bunch of different colors. Uh, you can print in porcelain or sandstone, uh, gold, 
that's not cheap, but you can, you can print in gold. Um, yeah, and so uh, real projects, real authentic publication. And, and, you know, and I know in art class, your kids are making beautiful things. And, and usually, uh, at the end of the year, those projects go home, whether it's a, a paper mache sculpture or a ceramic object. It goes home to the parents, and, and maybe they keep it for a little while, or maybe they put it in the attic or throw it away. But you could find someone on Etsy who really wants to buy that, and then instead of collecting dust, this could be collecting momentum. And if you can scan it and digitize it, you can sell it an infinite number of times. So you could take student work and scan it and upload it to some place like Cafe Press or Zazzle, where it can be printed onto a t-shirt or a sweatshirt, um, an iPhone case, uh, copy, and, like, hundreds of different products. They do the printing, they do the shipping, they do the payment. Like, it's just as easy as what they're already doing. The student just has to write a description and a title and set a price which that's a real authentic skill that they should be doing anyway. It's, it's, it's really fun. Maybe grandma is the only one who ever buys one of these things. <laughs> maybe no one ever buys it. Maybe, maybe the only thing that happens, the only benefit, the only thing that ever happens is that the kids do their very best work and they publish to an authentic audience. But maybe you make some money. And it's not, it's not just about the money. Uh, maybe you make more money than you make at a bake sale. But it's more about the mindset that service can directly help people. People like Alice, she's a farmer in Kenya, she wants to replace her paraffin burning oil lamps with solar lights. Your students' ideas and designs and writing and music can make a direct difference in the world. Your students can seriously change the world. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah.